Hello, this is Jamal Hartwell, the owner and founder of E Hartwell Products. Uh, gospel musicians, gospel keyboard, now Mediculous, MIDI Keys, and some other uh, companies we have. So, I just want to start off introducing you to our new product that we launched this uh, Christmas, MIDI Keys. That's right. Many of you have, uh, who have purchased my DVDs have written to the website asking us, can you please provide this LMS, as we call it, live MIDI sync technology that we've done on our DVDs for us in a software package. So we have done that, and it's in the form of MIDI keys. So we're going to get you started here, and uh, this is the interface of MIDI keys. Um, to the top right of here, we have the player where you just drag and drop, drop uh, any MIDI file, any MP3 uh, AIF and WAV files. Those are the four type of files. And our exclusive patented LMS file that contains audio and MIDI. We'll get to that a little later. Now, you hit this button right here, and it launches you to the actual MIDI Keys website. So uh, we just hit the MIDI Keys logo, and it launches you right to the uh, main website. Okay. Now, we have all of the basic uh, transport controls right here. Here's the uh, timeline for MIDI keys. Um, right here, we have the sounds and the split keys. We'll get to that later. The octave controls right here. We have the uh, modulation wheel that you can actually move with your mouse. It acts just like a regular keyboard modulation wheel. And you move it up and down like this. You can actually play the keys with your mouse. And we just tap here. Now before we get into this, let's go to our preferences here. This is probably one of the most important places you want to be. So as you can see, the number of keys, we can change between 88, see the keys change, between uh, 61, as you notice, uh, the lesser the keys, the bigger the keyboard gets. And we have what we call the split keys, left split, right split. The purpose of this, we realize that some people, uh, because you can't see our fingers, you want to know what's played in your left hand and what's played in your right hand. So right here we have a little split key right here at C4. Actually, I'm sorry, this is C4. So F, G, A, B, C4. As you can see, C4 is uh, red and B is blue. Okay. So it allows you to have the split keys, okay? And then uh, you could split the key between green and we got other colors. We got, uh, got the green right there, as you can see. Um, let's go back to our blue and red. So we'll keep the left in, uh, let's keep the left in blue. Let's keep the right in red, okay? Sorry, the left in blue, the right in red. So right here, blue, red. Then we have the use solfege technology. This is for people who are uh, not United States citizens or um, South America. You guys prefer to see the notes in the do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, back to do. Okay, we'll go back to the uh, regular method. And uh, we kind of have it in a random right now where it shows uh, right here. Normal shows sharps and flats, and uh, we can decide to see all of everything in all sharps, F sharp, or all flats. Let's stick to the all flats. Now, we have another option here that if you enable the QWERTY keyboard, you can be able to play notes with your keyboard. J is E, K is F, L is G. Um, you can look through your user's manual to see what the keys are associated. So, but when you disable the enable QWERTY keyboard, you can use the space bar to, to stop and pause and play and things of that sort. So that's what we're going to use. So let's just go ahead and get started here. Now, another important place, uh, audio MIDI preferences, okay? This is very important. We cannot 
harp upon how many times people have written us saying we cannot get MIDI keys to play. So you want your MIDI input, if you want to display it on the screen, to be MIDI keys. That's the MIDI keys port to allow it to display on the screen. We want MIDI channels to be all. We want our MIDI out port, if you're using OSX, to be ADSL. That will allow it to use the, the uh, general MIDI sound module of OSX. If you're using Windows, you'll use uh, whatever is the applicable sound generator for general MIDI for your Windows. Okay? MIDI output channels were just default to all. We use our core drivers right here. Um, and latency, we set that to zero. All right? So that is how you're going to get started with MIDI keys as far as your setup, all right? Right here is very important, too, because you have your mixer. Right now, we only have a MIDI channel, so um, this will allow you to pan and mute and um, up the volume, you know, allow the volume to increase. So before we get into MIDI, we wanted to let you know how to really set up MIDI keys to get it going. In our next video, we'll actually drag and drop a MIDI file, and we'll get started.